The administration, led by myself, Chester Cooper, is determined and committed to ensure that we decentralize investments for the whole Bahamas from the Nassau-centric model that has been over the years. Just under a year ago, the developers of Calypso Cove walked along the beach mapping out the vision to bring a $250 million cruise port terminal, marina, and a luxury residential resort to Long Island. Six months after their application, shovels are in the ground. $250 million investment, 200 rooms, a cruise pair partnership with Bahamas National Trust, investment in Long Island for Long Islanders. This is a great day for Long Island. This marked the $6 billion worth of investments approved by this government in the last year. You got record setting approval. We're setting records all across the Bahamas. This, this groundbreaking is in record setting time. I hope that you will continue to break more records. More than 300 people will be employed at Calypso Cove when construction begins. We are committed and we need to ensure that the opportunities for Long Islanders as for any Islander is the same as it is for those in New Providence. We are committed to that and we are going to continue on that track. One other thing, Long Islanders, please ready yourselves for what is to come. Let me opportunities for you. Developers are committed to building sustainably. They're currently doing an environmental assessment and will build the marina with minimal impact to the environment. Principal of Azul Destinations, Carlos Torres de Navarra, said Long Island met every criteria they had. With our project, Calypso Cove, it will be the first destination where you can say all the boxes are going to be checked off, but not only for the benefit of just one cruise line, but for the benefit of the entire industries. Keeping you in the know, this is OPM Press Now.